Mother's Day is around the corner, and I decided to surprise my mom by combining two of her favorite foods. But I gotta be honest, Special K and Box Merlot wine only sounded good on paper. So I went with plan B, a red velvet angel food cake. Let's begin. First things first, preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Is an Adidas tracksuit your idea of a super sexy outfit? The number you're looking for is 175 degrees Celsius. First things first, we gotta take care of the dry ingredients. Take a cup and a half of sugar and add it to a food processor. Now if that seems a bit weird to you, you must be new. Thank you for subscribing! But seriously, we need the sugar to be super fine in order for it to dissolve properly into our egg foam. So just slap on the lid, and uh, let it run for about a minute and a half. Okay, after a minute, the sugar should be nice and super fine. Now take half the sugar and put it in a separate bowl. Now let's add the rest of our dry ingredients. One and a quarter cups of cake flour. A quarter cup of cocoa powder. And half a teaspoon of salt. Oh, and uh, use regular table salt, not kosher salt. It's too coarse. And believe it or not, we're gonna sift everything in the food processor. Give it a few pulses to combine everything. Give a moment for the dust to settle. And boom, within a matter of seconds, our dry ingredients are fully sifted. Now let's move on to the wet ingredients. In a large metal bowl, add 12 egg whites. And uh, if you look closely, you might have noticed that these are real egg whites, not the pre-separated liquid egg whites. I'm doing this because the last time I made an angel food cake video, it took forever for it to foam up. I don't get it, it worked the last time. Let's also add a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a teaspoon and a half of cream of tartar, and duh, red food coloring. I highly recommend you go with red food coloring gel. It's much more concentrated and it won't affect the structural integrity of our batter. I want to add a bit more than you think you need because once we whip up the egg whites, it's going to lighten in color. Mix everything on high with a hand mixer. You, unfortunately, you can't use a stand mixer, mainly because, and I speak from experience, the egg whites will whip up past the capacity of the bowl. So just use a really big normal bowl and a hand mixer. Link to one in the description. Gotta add more, see what I mean? Okay, once it's at soft peaks, set the mixer to low, and slowly incorporate our sugar. All right, once the sugar has been fully incorporated, boost the speed up to medium high. Okay, once it's at medium peak like this, Let's fold in our dry ingredients and sift our dry ingredients on top of our egg whites. And with a rubber spatula, fold them in. All right, once the dry ingredients are incorporated in, add it to a two piece bun cake pan. Oh, and don't pour it in, just dollop it in like this. And to even it out, just sh shake it about like this. Place our cake in the middle of our 350 degree oven. And let it cook for 35 minutes. Mother, tell your children not to walk my way. <laughs> Once the 35 minutes are up, place our cake pan upside down onto a cooling rack in a half seat tray and uh, let it cool. And it's cooled down. Now using your thinnest knife, cut around the very edge of the pan. And 
cut against the top of the bottom piece. And voila. And while our cake continues to cool, let's work on the frosting. Okay, we're actually gonna be making a glaze. A frosting would be way too thick and dense for something as light as angel food cake. What you'll get is some sort of Jackson Pollock inspired dessert. And um, maybe one day I'll do it, but let's stay on track. Anyway, in a stand mixer, add eight ounces of cream cheese and half a stick of butter. Make sure they come to room temperature. Mix these together on medium. Scrape down the sides of the bowl. Now let's add one teaspoon of vanilla, half a teaspoon of salt, mix on high, then stir on low. And while the mixer mixes, slowly add three cups of powdered sugar. When you added half the sugar, turn off the mixer and give the bowl a good scraping. Hey dude, edit that out, okay? Resume mixing. Turn it off again. And here's the part where we make it a glaze. Add about half a cup to a cup of milk. All right, let's check the consistency. It could be a bit thinner. All right, this is the perfect consistency. Like a bit thinner than sweetened condensed milk. And finally, pour it all over our cake. There we go, a cake just as beautiful as your mom on Mother's Day. Now, normally this is the part where I introduce you to my mom, but uh, she's a bit camera shy. Instead, she wrote this note for me to read on camera. Hi, sweetie. The cake was nice and sweet, just like you. Aw. P.S. You're four months behind on rep. <laughs> Time to take the woman's car keys away. This has been Chase Cut in the Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun, and meeting it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, hit subscribe and push the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Oh, and uh, no funny saying here. I looked up my analytics and my watch time, and turns out you people don't care about this part, so...